What's it like in real life driving electric cars in the snow? Awesome. It's different. Oh. <laughs> We've been driving three full years now in Michigan in the snow. We'll give you the real details of what's going on. Also in this episode, a big project we have got underway. We'll explain yes. toward the end. We are you can help with. You can help. We are preparing for our next trip to San Diego from uh, Michigan, which is uh, quite a hike, so we can cover more at Terra, get some more awesome footage, maybe do some lives where we can handle your questions on site. Mm -hmm. Lots of big plans. But wait, there's more. We have got updates on the fundraising by Aptera through Republic.com and on Sono Sion, the hashtag Save Sion project. We'll cover that. We better get to work. Yeah, what are you talking? Just jabbering <laughs> away. Get to work. So when it comes to driving electric cars in the winter, the last three days, we would have no idea because we were stuck in the house. Yes, we were in the middle of Elliot, which hit us as a blizzard, the storm Elliot, and then here in Michigan, West Michigan, Blizzard. So yeah, we were bare. We we live uh, not too far in from Lake Michigan, so we get something called lake effect snow, which I don't know what it means technically, other than hey, you're too close to the lake, so the effect is you get a lot of snow. That's, <laughs> That's lake exactly effect snow. What in lake a effect nutshell. snow me. Okay, let's get to work. Let's start with the updates on the fundraising, and then we'll get into some deeper stuff on winter weather and electric cars. So yes. let's start with uh, Sono Motors. They got the Sion electric car charged by the sun that they're trying to save because they're in financial difficult times. Yes, they the want to get to production, to mass production with the Sion, and they're working on it through a special program, hashtag save Sion. Yep, and they need about $100 million or so to get to production. They've got all kinds of suppliers lined up. They've built a bunch of these cars. They've tested a bunch of these cars. We've sat in one of these cars, pretty interesting little vehicle. Mm -hmm. Here's where they're at. They gave themselves 50 days to get 3,500 Sions completely funded. Right. And here it is earlier today. They had 1,093.1 .1 fully paid for uh, solo Sion. So, hey, it's going. Yep. Moving. It's moving in the right direction. Yeah. I mean, it keeps going to the right. Yes. And up and like this. Yeah. We're cheerleading. Go, Go Sion. Okay. Now for our favorite solar powered electric car. Yes, we're biased. I don't think we've been too quiet about that. We've been pretty open and honest. <laughs> we're pretty we do forward. have a favorite. <laughs> our favorite is Aptera, the solar powered electric car out of California. So Sarah, where is Aptera and their fundraising? Well, exciting opportunity with Aptera is that they can, you can now invest uh, via republic.com if you would like to for a minimum of $210. So that's an exciting opportunity. And as of right now, and their, their Republic, they have um, raised $667,999 from 516 different investors. And that's just in a few days. Yeah. And that's just on Republic. It's just it has on Republic. nothing to do with the other funding streams that they have. Yeah, pretty interesting. We'll see how it goes. We'll keep yeah. following it, and we'll tell you the things that we know. Uh, we've got to get to a couple of thank yous, Sarah. Bob yes. Newchow, you bought us coffee thank again. Thank you. Thank you. You don't know how much that couple of dollars means to Sarah and I. It really does help a lot. It does. Yeah, and uh, you're not alone because someone else did. Yes. Thank you, someone. Someone. <laughs> yeah, for the coffee. <laughs> but you chose to remain nameless, uh, so we can only thank you by saying someone. Thank we you. do appreciate you. Yes. As I was busy editing this video, Jerry and Helen, you sent us 10 cups of coffee. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And it will be used for our San Diego trip, as you specified. Can't thank you enough. I didn't want to wait for another video to say thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. You don't know how much it means to us. Let's get on a little bit to this winter weather driving when it comes to an EV. Interesting comment came in here from Shay Stern. Shay says, and, and by the way, he's talking about Nissan Leaf, which is the car we drive. Yep. Said, I drove today with about two inches of snow, and I am not impressed by its lack of braking, and now Aptera would be better since it's so light. Not a winter car, either one. Mm. Okay, Shay. Hey, we haven't been in Aptera in winter. True. So we can only speak a little bit, but we have been three winters in our Nissan Leaf. Yes. And we're not young anymore. <laughs> I mean, Sarah looks young. We're, we're climbing the ladder, if you, if you will. We're, we're getting up there in years. We've owned a lot of cars. Yes. I can't count how many cars we've owned. It's been so many. Yeah, some good, some not great. Right. This is the best car that we've had. And we live in Michigan, Jay, yep. uh, in the winter. So, yes, with a couple inches of snow, it doesn't break good. No cars do. It, does, it slides around. All cars do, uh, you know, depending on the situation. But one tip, 
is when you start your Nissan Leaf, it has traction control engaged, which is a nice feature. Mm -hmm. But if you need to get momentum and get moving, sometimes turning traction control off will give you the benefit of being able to kind of grind the wheels down to the pavement and get moving. So that's a little right. insider trick because we live on a hill in our neighborhood mm -hmm. and then our driveway is up a hill too. Right. So, also, I don't know what year you're driving or how your tires are because that can make a big effect. We got new front tires this year right before the snow came so that we would have better traction control. Also, in the winter, we drive in the B mode on the Nissan Leaf because that gives us the maximum um, braking uh, without having to actually hit the pedal. So it's, as soon as you take your foot off the gas, it starts slowing down the car, which is what you want to happen in icy conditions because that way when you hit the brakes, you're more apt to, to slide when that happens and, and better chance of losing control. So a couple of tips that, yeah. that we have it, found super helpful and it's made our, for us, the Nissan Leaf has been the best car we've had in the winter Right. So, Shay, I, I'm sure that doesn't help you much because I'm sure you know how to drive just fine. But I wasn't saying Shay doesn't know be. how to drive. I'm just saying if anybody's watching. A little unsolicited advice. <laughs> anyway, so maybe get a four-wheel drive truck and just forget the whole thing. Because <laughs> cars on snow slide around a little bit. That's it. Yes. You know. Yeah. It's but true. I'm sorry your experience hasn't been great. Yeah. As far as the Aptera, we can't speak with great confidence on it. But what we're excited about, Shay, is having that third wheel in the back. Because as you know, when you're driving in a rut and those two front wheels are in a rut, and if that's all ice under there and you're just sliding, we've all been there. But if you had a back wheel that's not even in the rut, that might make a big difference if you have the all-wheel drive version. We're curious to see if yeah. that's the case. We're, we're, we're hoping we can't wait to snow test yeah. our Aptera because we're excited about it. But it's not all sunshines and flowers when it comes to driving an EV in winter. There is one big issue that we face every winter. Big downside. Big downside. And that is the range. It plummets in the cold weather. Our battery hates this degree of cold. It yeah. <laughs> does good in the summer, fine in the fall, it's springy in the spring, but in the winter, it is a it's dog. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, you can't put a percentage on it. Like we get about a hundred miles most of the year. Come the winter, you know, like today when we went for a little drive, we finally got out of the house today to go find a Diet Coke at an open gas station and some Chinese food. And, and we probably, if we wanted to test the range thoroughly today, we might get 65 miles on a full charge. So, but that's today, you know, it's in the teens. It's very cold. The roads are very slippery. So even ice cars, gasoline cars are getting terrible range on a day like today. We're all running our heaters because we're not crazy <laughs> much. So the deal is, yes, the range is worse. And that is the thing to watch out for with electric cars. So if you're used to, and don't buy a car. This is the advice that we give, unsolicited. Don't buy a car that the top range is what you need. Right. For example, when you're buying your Aptera, if you need to go 250 miles, we would not recommend you buy the 250 mile range. If you need to go 250 on a charge, you're yeah. going to at least want the 400 charge. Because there's just so many factors you can't control. The cold's going to change things. Mm -hmm. If the roads are slippery, it's going to change things. Even the wind. Sometimes we drive back and forth to the lakeshore, and depending on which way the wind is blowing, we get a lot better range on the way home than we did on the way there. So just like a gasoline car, weather, wind, everything affects it. But in our electric car, it seems to affect it a lot. Right. So, Dramat uh, yeah, dramatically. dramatically. So it's just something to plan for. And, and that's just a little bit about driving EVs in the winter. The plus is that we have seat warmers. We start the car up and let it heat up before we Our get in. Our leaf has it. a heated steering wheel. We leave it's the a house. Nice touch. Yeah, that's beautiful. We leave the house every day with a full charge. Mm -hmm. So these are things that are big benefits to electric cars. You don't have a gas pump at your house where you can gas it up overnight. Well, we do with electric cars. So that's a big help. Yeah. we got to get to a couple more things real quick yeah. because two people sent us super thanks this week. Yes. It is so humbling. You know what, Sarah? It's embarrassing. It's not. When, it's when, so no, when I, I get a ding and I look at my phone and say, wow, Tom Bouchaw just sent you like money to say thank you for a video. It's, thank it you. It really is humbling, uh, Tom. Thank you. Yes. And, and you it weren't means alone. A lot. You weren't alone this week. Kevin Asbury did the same thing. Kevin Asbury, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It really does help and it's much. Much appreciated. Very much so. Now, as promised, we are plotting our trip <laughs> from here <laughs> to San Diego to get some really good Aptera footage in the very near future. Yes, we're hoping to ride in Gamma. We're hoping to dig for 
any gold we can find on Delta. Yeah, and we're gonna we really plan to do live streams where you can get your questions answered in real time from yes. Aptera representatives. If they don't like it, we'll do it secretly somehow. Put it in my pocket, but <laughs> no, we're going to get it now done. Now they're not going to let us come. We would never, they, never do that. They don't watch this stuff. It's going to be just <laughs> fine. So what we did to try to raise money, and when I say raise money, let's be clear, we're going either way. If we have to tap out a credit card, we're going to go, okay, so it's not dependent completely on raising funds, but this would help us a lot. Okay, here's the plan. Sarah, graphic designer extraordinaire, designed this coffee mug here. It says, driven by the sun. You can get it with a blue handle or a black handle. And on the side, of course, it says, designed by Sarah. If you buy this mug for $25, free shipping, then it helps us get to San Diego. Yes. Every penny raised from this is toward that. Yes. We need to sell about 224 mugs to completely fund our travels. And we've already got a head start. Look at the map here. You can see that little black Aptera in Michigan is starting that's tiny Terra. Trek. That's a tiny Terra. Starting his trek to San Diego. Pretend it's an airplane because that's where we will be going. And you can see there's a mug in Ohio because of Rick Rutledge. Thank you, and Rick. And Faith. And Faith. Thank you, Rick and Faith. There's a cup in New York because yes. Bob Newchild sent one to his cousin in New York. Thank yes. you, Bob. Yes. There's three cups in California because Bob, again, sent one to a relative in California. Yep. I think a sister. Yep. And then Jay Busby, Sparky yep. Jay, bought two mugs in Alameda, yes. California. Thank you. We've already started. We've yes. got a start. We're on our way. We've yeah. backed out of the driveway. We've backed out of the driveway. <laughs> We're almost to the airport. <laughs> I think that represents about 40 miles, actually. Those oh, we've months. taken off. We're yeah. on our way. So we'll keep updating this as it goes. We'll see if it gets traction. Thank yeah. you for your Any support. Any little bit helps. So there you go. That's the plan. So the website to go to to buy these mugs is drivenbysolar.com. Drivenbysolar.com. It goes to an Etsy store that we set up just, just for, for this process. And yeah. we will keep you updated. Yeah, And we'll put a link down below in the comments so that you can quickly find it if you want to. Yes, there'll be a link in the, yeah, good idea. You, link yeah. in the description. Yeah. And a big thank you to the members of this channel. As always, you're the thank ones that you. keep the wheels churning on the Foley. Positive. You're the ones that, I'm not going to edit that out. They need to know that it's not perfect <laughs> over here. Uh, you're the ones that keep the wheels churning on the positively, positively charged. charged EV channel. Thank you. Drive the lightning. That's the name of the That's channel. Awesome. That's us. Thanks for watching Drive the Lightning, where we get a charge out of driving. There you go. Another one. A couple of big things coming up we want to touch on. Any minute now, or any day now, Aptera is going to release the full Delta design. Yes. Uh, and when we get that, we are going to have Professor Bruce Nelson on the channel again. So we yes. can go through it in detail. And we're going to do kind of a year in review for Aptera. What has been accomplished January 2022? Till the time they release the Delta design, and Bruce will have a lot of really good insights on that. If you don't know who he is, well, you're going to find out. Yeah. He'll be on our channel soon. Yeah, he'll help us understand everything. Yeah, so that's so. Thank you. Uh, be here for that. And there's other things too, but I can't announce him yet because I haven't been worked through enough to where they couldn't fall apart. Right. Yeah. So we'll we'll leave it at that. Stay tuned. Uh, stay tuned. Do you want to watch another video about the Aptera? Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, right here. It's right here over my head. Yes. Chad and Sarah Drive the Lightning, thank you for being you yep. and for being here. If you don't want to miss anything, then make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification so you'll know when our new videos land. Why wow, you sound just like a YouTuber. <laughs> I'm trying. Okay, guys. <laughs>